My name is Gustavo and I'm a professor here at the Federal University of Pará in the middle of Amazon, Brazil, and I'm here to talk about software energy consumption. Software energy consumption is a matter of growing importance within the software engineering community. Many developers have been facing this problem for some time, but most of them don't have access to the knowledge or the tools necessary to lower an application's energy consumption. Software is related to energy in a way that software drives hardware utilization. So if software is using too much hardware, it may be using too much energy. So if we write software in a way that we can use less hardware or use hardware in a smart way, we can try to improve for energy consumption. Professor Gustavo Pinto is dedicated to understanding the relationship between energy efficiency and software development. So if you take in consideration an application that runs for 10 seconds and we say that this is time and this is power measured in watts, we can see that the application takes 10 seconds and 5 watts. Energy consumption is actually energy equals to power times time. So my energy consumption is equals to 50. Developers think that if they can decrease the execution time, they can also decrease the energy consumption. But this is not always the case. Let's say we can improve your application here to 8 seconds. But if you are decreasing the energy consumption, let's say that you are increasing power consumption. So let's say you increase to 7. If you go to the formula again, even though we decrease it execution time, we increase it the energy consumption. So they do want to improve the energy consumption, but they don't have either the knowledge or the tools to help them to achieve this goal. Professor Pinto highlights three strategies for improving energy consumption. Strategy one, identify problem areas. Let's say you are using data structures, which is very common. If you understand that some data structures consume more energy than other data structure, you can favor the data structure that consumes the least energy instead of the other one, which makes sense. Strategy two, code optimization. We have a software with thousands of lines of codes and maybe just a few of them are the bad ones in terms of energy consumption. How do you find these lines of codes, the bad ones? So if you have visualization tools, some tools that can help you to identify the bad lines of code, or the bad classes or the bad methods, that would be very great for developers because they can try to refactor only this part of the code. Strategy three, improving debuggers and testers. The buggies and testings, they are good for developers and developers use them every single day. But the point is, can we improve the buggers and testing in a way that they can help you to improve the energy consumption of your software. Although this is a legitimate concern, Professor Pinto believes there's still a long way to go in terms of making software truly more energy efficient. And the software engineering community is really paying attention for this problem. Although we have too many things working on, we still have very few solutions. See Energy Efficiency, a new concern for application software developers, a review article in the December 2017 communications of the ACM.